All right, Tori, thanks. Our other top story tonight. Human trafficking is an issue that impacts millions of people across the world with victims right here in Kern County. One of the most common forms is sex trafficking, where people are forced to sell their bodies for money. 23 ABC's Emma Lockhart meets a local human trafficking survivor and does more on the efforts to bring hope to others. It's here on Union Avenue where experts say human trafficking is alive and well. They say Bakersfield is a hub for the sex trade because of the major freeways that run through here. Women are brought here for a short amount of time, often at night when they have no idea where they are or where they are going next. You know, there's a lot of hopelessness out on Union Avenue and the surrounding areas. And uh, hope deferred is a really, really tough situation to be in for anybody. Uh, to not have hope is, uh, I mean, there's nothing to cling on to. For many people just passing through Union Avenue, they might not know the extent of the issues that go on there. But for people like Doug Bennett, who has lived it and seen it, he is well aware. Uh, just coming out to see who's out here, uh, who's working. Uh, we try to make an assessment of who's uh, uh, doing this by choice and, and who's actually uh, being sold and someone's profiting off of them. Doug is the founder of Magdalene Hope, an organization that fights human trafficking here locally. And experts say Union Avenue is the hot spot in the county. If you look at Union Avenue, it's usually a two, two uh, lane street. Not real heavy traffic, however, it's small enough that a trafficker can surveil their victims while they were forcing them to sell themselves. Every Friday, Doug and a group of volunteers go on Union Avenue and hand out backpacks full of feminine products and resources to women working the streets and motels. Hi, beautiful. Would you like a free bag? It's a gift. Our studies show that eight out of 10 women out there are not out there by choice, but somebody's forcing them to be out there. And I have a problem with that. And they pray for the women, asking each one what they need reassuring them that if they want help, they are there. We rescue every woman who calls that wants help, that wants out. Um, no matter the circumstances or the situation, we'll go in and get her, get her to a safe place. Doug is a sense of safety for a lot of these women, giving hope to them in some of the darkest situations. He did just that for Candace Shepard, a survivor of human trafficking. When I first got in his car, I remember they brought this blanket um, from these ladies who did these prayer blankets. And there was a song that came on the radio. They took me and they got me some shoes and stuff. And I remember with the, the blanket wrapped around me, the song, I used to always say, when my grandma passed away, it was this, earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. And the song that came on, it had that part in it. And it was basically just talking about, you know, come as you are. And I never felt so safe in my life. Candace says she was trafficked in Nevada in 2013, forced to have sex with men for money coerced by her trafficker, a man she says she thought she could trust. Everything he told me was a lie. Like, we had nowhere to go. He lied about everything. He's like, I have all these friends, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then it was like, oh, well, if we're going to survive, you're going to have to sell your body. After a year, Candace finally escaped to San Jose, but it was there that she says she met another trafficker and found herself in the same cycle of imprisonment. My next trafficker, he, was in, um, he went to prison for 15 years for manslaughter. So when I met him, he kind of had just gotten out. He'd been out like a year, maybe a year and a half. She says she worked the streets, forced to not only sell her own body, but recruit other women as well. I remember one night I was out on the street and he was over in the cuts, like in the corner, across the way, and he had a gun. And I remember him pointing at me and, and I could see the, the, the laser pointer and it was like up and down, you know, up and down my body. Then when I got back into the car with him, he told me, you know, in this this serious but joking voice, he's like, I always, like he's always watching. He said, you know, I could take you out and nobody would even know. She says her trafficker took everything from her, identification, freedom, the right to her body, leaving her broken. And, it, and I think back him saying like, I buy your clothes, I buy your cigarettes, I take care of you, so this is your form of um, paying me back. I'm like thinking, I woke up finally and I, I knew if I did not leave, he was going to kill me. I was going to die. There was no way I was going to make it. Candace escaped, jumping from a two-story window while her trafficker was selling drugs down the street. 
a quick decision that she says saved her life. A few weeks later, she met Doug and went into the rehabilitation program Magdalene Hope offers women. And I thank you, God, that you're constantly reminding me that no matter where I'm at in life, that my story has power. If you think about the trauma that happens, I mean, being tortured, held against your will, um, never seeing your family or children, and then having to be raped continuously, that takes a lot of undoing. Doug says through their outreach efforts, they save 16 women a year here in Kern County, yet they hand out sometimes 20 bags in an hour. You know, our main goal is to come out here and bring hope uh, to these women. It's a very hopeless uh, trade, a very hopeless uh, situation most of these women find themselves in. Those women who don't call, who don't get rescued, are what motivate Doug and others to continue their work. With Candace, a point of hope for those still in the grip of it. I have my family back. I've been clean almost four years, and I'm working, and, uh, oh, gosh, I don't usually get emotional, but, um, it's a good feeling. I'm Emma Lockhart for 23 ABC News.